Therapeutic drug monitoring is an important rule in inflammatory bowel disease. Our group in the previous work has compared uh, the new point of care from quantum blue, uh, quantum blue from Bowman with uh, other methodologies. In this work, we are still comparing quantum blue with uh, ELISA from Sunclean, but we are looking at it uh, as a clinical perspective. So we uh, determined the levels of infliximab of 110 patients with uh, ulcerative colitis, both with, uh, we have uh, determined these levels with quantum blue and also with ELISA from Sunqueen. And we also assess endoscopic activity, histological activity, the clinical outcome and uh, levels of uh, fecal carbotectin. Um, there are three main uh, results and conclusions in this work. Uh, first of all, um, the levels of infliximab were statistically different between the patients that were in endoscopic remission and patients that were in uh, clinical uh, endoscopic activity. They were also statistically different between patients that had low fecal calprotectin and high fecal calprotectin. And that we, uh, this result we found it with both methodologies, quantum pool and sanguine. Secondly, we, when comparing the two methodologies, we had a good correlation between both, uh, with a spearmint correlation coefficient of 0.859. Uh, third and last, we had proposed a cutoff of 3 micrograms per milliliter to assess endoscopic remission and to assess the, the level of inflammation. And this cutoff is the same if you're using quantum blue methodology and also uh, the ELISA from Sunqueen. My name is Michael Schneider, I'm Vice President of the Product Development Team of Bubon Laboratories and I'd like to present you our newest data from development. We show you after the, the ECHO this year newest results from the, the validation of our new Adalimumab uh, letter flow assay. This was planarity, method comparison, book effect, precision and recovery. Method comparison was performed uh, in comparison to an ELISA uh, with the reader screen ELISA of our video farm. And the results revealed that we have a linear range for the assay between 0.5 and 35 microgram per milliliter. We show that there is no high dose hook effect up to 800 microgram per milliliter other than map. And also with an additional sample dilution of 1 to 20, we can show that the linear range can even be expanded to 500 microgram per milliliter. The method comparison revealed a very good correlation between the ELISA and the letter flow assay with a bias between 0 and 13 percent. So in conclusion we can say that the quantum blue adalimumab assay uh, is a enables the, the quantitative determination of adalimumab in serum samples between 1 and 35 microgram per milliliter and the wide uh, test range allows uh, measurement of uh, serum samples even beyond the clinical range. Um, it represents a valuable tool for clinicians to measure adalimumab trough levels in patients.